I want to call your mind back. I want to connect this idea to something that we did last term. We've done AM1 and AM2, if you recall. Do you remember what they were about? Like, what was in AM1? What was in AM2? Think, 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 think. What kind of stuff do we do under algebraic manipulation 1? We had lots of um, factorizing, expanding. You had some equations to solve. Do you remember that? So I would call that algebraic expressions. That's like 3x plus 5. That's an algebraic expression, right? Um, you had to simplify them. You had to work with them. But as well as that, you had equations, which is where you have an equal sign. It's not just 3x plus 5 hanging out there in the middle of nowhere. It's 3x plus 5 is equal to something. And since it's equal, that's what we call it an equation, right? That was right at the beginning of the year. And then we kind of, we spent some time in finance. And then we looked at this. We had to draw some graphs. Do you remember what AM2 is about? Linear Very good. So we took those linear equations like that 3x plus 5 that I talked to you about. And we said, hey, you can graph these out. That, that shows there's actually a relationship between two things, right? It's like, look, I've got a vertical axis. I've got a horizontal axis. And then I want to think about how those two relate to each other. Do you remember, and this is actually really important, I want you to um, have some arrows going off here. Whenever we looked at a linear relationship, there was always something on the vertical axis, something on the horizontal, and we were comparing the two, right? And that's why they were related to each other. Can anyone think of any examples at all, or even make up some examples, of some of the pairs of quantities that we looked at? Anyone recall? I'll start you off, just to get your, your um, head going. We had a look at books, like printing books. I think one of the first examples we did was a company trying to print books um, versus the cost, right? Like production costs. Okay. Do you remember that? Did I ring a bell? You remember the graph? Okay. <laughs> Can someone help me out? Can we get some, a couple of more examples? <coughs> yeah. Taxi. Ta sorry, say yes. Okay. Taxi driving. Okay, so we talked about um, taxi fares. What did we compare it to? Like the amount you pay versus what? Versus the, well, it's, it's kind of tricky, isn't it? Um, for taxis, it's actually a bit of time and a bit of distance. But I think just to simplify it, I think we thought about distance. Like the further you drive, generally speaking, the more you get charged. Um, say again? Time. Well, it's actually a bit of both because taxis, unfortunately, are a little bit complicated in that if you're sitting in traffic doing nothing, they're still charging you because their engine's running. But at the same time, if you're driving for half an hour versus sitting in traffic for half an hour, they will also charge you different. So there's actually more things to compare there. But we did look at a very simple graph of that. Can someone give me another one? Yeah. Uh, the charge for getting a plumber. For a plumber. Okay, so we talked about like any kind of service fee, right? Um, and we talked about like call out and that kind of thing. So the service fee versus, now this time I think it was definitely time. Like the longer the plumber is there, the more they're going to charge you, right? Okay, so that's enough examples. All of that was just to demonstrate. Whenever you have a pair of things and they're related to each other, and they're changing in relationship to each other, what you're really talking about is a rate. Okay, that's, that's what we're looking at today. It's like cost per books, or um, dollars per kilometer, or uh, dollars per hour, right? So you're always comparing these two things, and you get a rate out the other side. So I might say, um, Dollar, actually all of these are money. Dollar per book, sorry. Um, dollar per kilometer, dollar per hour. Okay, so we have this language of rates that's kind of we're very, very familiar with. But all it means is, maybe you want to put this in a box. A rate is a comparison between two quantities that change, right? Such as um, the amount of money you had to spend and the amount of time that the plumber is at your house, right? So that's all a rate is, a comparison between two changing quantities. And that's why I'm mentioning now under measurement, because, well, whenever you measure stuff, you get quantities out the other end, okay? So all you have to do to state a quantity is to have, well, what's one amount that's changing over the other? Okay, so for instance, one that isn't mentioned here is something like, say, a speed. We know, we understand what speed is, and that's kind of like a classic rate. How would you write down the speed of a car? What units are we talking about? Kilometers per hour. hour. Kilometers per hour, right? So kilometers is a distance quantity that changes, and hours is a 
It's a time unit that changes, right? And we looked at all of these units in like our first lesson on this, okay? So the first thing you need to be able to say is just like, well, can I come up with a number? If, for instance, let's just write an example. Oh, I still have space over here. For example, write down this pair of numbers for me. Suppose I went from um, Sydney to Melbourne, which I think is like 350 kilometers. And so suppose it took me um, four and a half hours. Four and a half hours, which should not be a bad try. What's my speed? What's the rate of my travel from one city to the other? Well, because I'm thinking kilometers per hour, I'm literally going to take the number of kilometers and I'm going to divide by the number of hours. So I'm going to say, huh, I'm still going to run out of space, but I'll try. The speed, that's the, that's the name of this rate, right? The speed is going to be 350 kilometers over four and a half hours. But we don't say like, oh yeah, my speed is whatever kilometers per four and a half hours, we say per one hour, right? So how am I gonna change this fraction so that it's kilometers per hour? Put it in the calculator. <laughs> you put it in the calculator? <laughs> what your calculator is gonna do is it's gonna convert that four and a half hours into just one hour, right? That's what it wants to know. So if you wanna write here, and this is sort of telling you what your calculator is doing, you're dividing the top by four and a half and you're dividing the bottom by four and a half. Do you see that? So that four and a half is gonna turn into one, and this is going to turn into whatever your calculator tells me. Can someone get me a number? 77.7. 77. 77. Okay, is that exact or rounded? It's like 77. It's like repeated stuff. Sure, okay. So in fact, um, I guess if we did round that, it would round up, wouldn't it? Because all those sevens are telling me. So I'm going to write approximately 77.8 kilometers per hour, like so. Okay. 